All right. Hey, um, my name is Eric. I work at Development Seed and lead up uh, some of the strategy uh, over there. And what we're trying to do is tell complex stories with uh, with maps. Here you're looking at uh, the first 24 hours after the Japan uh, earthquake, seeing the main magnitude and uh, some of the aftershocks. Um, here we're trying to actually show an NGO right here in D.C. move uh, uh, basic need goods uh, in blue dots over to actual recipients. And we want to be able to like drill down into the data and actually see a story of who who the data is actually about. In this case, we want to zoom in and actually see population movements. Here, we're just looking at census data in the U.S. Um, these are the kind of stories that we're trying that we're trying to tell. And to tell those stories, we need really gorgeous, really fast um, maps. And the way we're going about it is we're we're making a lot of open source tools. And tonight, I specifically want to talk about TileMill because all these maps are powered by tiles. These little 256 by 256 uh, PNGs. So I want to talk about where they come from and overall how to actually make a map here. Um, so in, in the consulting line of work, a development seed goes in and we do data collection on the ground. We're going over and actually analyzing the data and then, then we're making a gorgeous map. Tonight, I just want to actually focus on the map making tool, specifically the open source version. You've heard free a bit tonight, but I want to talk about open sources in free as in BSD, totally open source. Um, and I want to talk about it in context of a particular tool called TileMill. Uh, if you go to TileMill.com, you can totally download this. This is a design suite uh, where you're able to take things like shapefiles and GeoJSON and uh, actually load it into your site, uh, it actually uh, load this into the app and make a map with it. And so I figured the best way to actually show this is to actually show how to make a map in three minutes. So here are a couple maps I'm working on. This software is all running locally on my uh, computer, and uh, it's actually running in, uh, in the browser here. So I can add a new map. This is actually what the interface to TileMill looks like. I want to show you how easy it is to actually theme out and design the map. So here's a live interactive map. As I start coding on it, I'm able to actually make adjustments. I can start adding additional, additional layers of data. And you're going to get a real sense of how powerful it is to do uh, uh, total real cartography. Here I'm able to actually add a da data set. Um, uh, Dave actually went and downloaded uh, recovery projects from the fourth quarter from data.gov, ran through Google Refine, geocoded them. Now I can load it up into TileMill here, and you can see I can actually uh, browse and explore the data and get a sense of what I want to map. I want to tell a story about this data. I don't just want it in, uh, in a spreadsheet. And to give you a sense of how easy and powerful it is to start telling a story here, this is 10 lines of code that we're able to drop in. It looks just like CSS, um, where now I'm able to actually see the density points of projects in the fourth quarter uh, themed out based on, uh, based on uh, funding size here. Um, so, like, look at how easy this code is. This is all powered by Cardo. It's a really fast, um, uh, and it looks a lot like uh, CSS, right? So I'm saying, hey, I want markers. I want them to be blue, slightly, uh, slightly uh, opaque, and then I actually want to basically do some quick theming out. This is how easy it is to get started. But you don't even know. You don't even need to actually know the language. Uh, TileMill comes with a built-in, uh, a built-in reference guide that you can actually explore and uh, dive in and quickly uh, see. Hey, do I have points or polygons or whatnot? And again, all of this is, is freely downloadable. Here's where it gets interesting. It's more than just zooming in on the map and having a pretty map. It's about having it be interactive and wicked fast. We can add interactivity here, and it'll go in and actually parse out the actual data into these little tokens that we can then add in for on hover and on click into all the tiles. So now you can see I was just able to turn on interactivity and write full HTML and CSS around that that I can then theme out into my application here. So now all the dots are showing things like what, what the award date was, what the name of the project is, just when I mouse over. I'm able to now go over and export out this map. Here I can actually set the zoom levels that I want, give it a name. You can see the interactivity is right there. And um, I want to be able to actually export this out in a way that I can drop onto the web or mobile. Um, so it exports things out as MB tiles or a PNG or a PDF. The MB tiles thing is really neat. So traditionally with a map, you're looking at millions of tiles. What we're able to do here is we're actually able to drop them into a single a file, uh, SQLite database. And that makes them totally portable. So I can take that SQLite file and actually drop it onto a server and now have a fully interactive map. Do you see how many points are on here? Have you ever seen a performant map with this much data on it that you can quickly start slipping around? Like speed matters.
Here's how we're able to do it. We're actually able to render the dots directly into tiles and have a bit of GeoJSON right behind it. So as I mouse over on a tile by tile basis, it says, hey, uh, give me some interactivity back. This is going to be amazing uh, to tell more complex data stories. And it's also going to be amazing to have your data portable so you can actually drop on to a mobile device. And again, so if you're interested in speed and you're interested in open source as in BSD open source, check out TileMill to design really wicked custom maps. Thank you.